A, we're doing the final trial of Final Fantasy XIV uh, Stormblood. Let's do it. Royal Menagerie. Oh, I have undersized party on. Why is that you check anything? Here we go. This is apparently insanely hard. I guess we'll just pop in and ask if the other four people have anything they want to share, but other than that, try to learn it. That's quick. Is there much reason to run this outside of it showing up in roulettes? You like the fight? Hmm. Same reason to do any trial. I was just curious if it drops anything using the trials, give you tokens and stuff. I didn't realize you guys had finished the dungeon. Yeah, we cranked through it last night when I got a 70 real quick. None of the normal trials give you any gear. Sweet. Get it backwards though, he's supposed to merge with the big dragon thing first and then we're supposed to fight him just with a sword. Or three swords. Yeah. I mean if you wanted to know I could tell you, but I figured you didn't, so I'm gonna understand why you're asking. I don't, because sometimes the randos we're with will get upset if we don't know the mechanics right away. So. This all of El Samurai looks much cooler than you do. But just, just saying. Okay. Can I just afro? Stack near the tidal wave, spread apart earth breaths to edges. Ether gauge like his underling, you know, the mm -hmm. previous guy did. I really like that. Little custom gauges and stuff. Okay, everyone's fighting on the right edge, so. So, stack on the tidal wave? Oh, I see on the edge there. Oh, I see. That's a good reason to stack. Okay. Let's see why that kills people. If you don't have sprint or any on your hotbar in a convenient location, this fight will convince you to do so. Hmm. Spread apart when he goes to the lightning thing. No, I think. Uh, well, yes. And then there was Earth Breath, which was also um, spread. So I need to stay away from folks. That sucks. Left wing is emitting an ominous glow. Damn, this guy hits hard. Jeez. Yeah, he does. Perfect breath. What was that? Uh, I think it was... Oh. Oh god, you... 
I'm so dumb. Because two people get hit by that one to stack on top of each other, otherwise that happens. Just two people targeted by Earth Breath that want to stack on top of each other? Yeah, because you see how the lakes giant and the ladies in the center on whoever got picked. Hellfire. Oh, that's cool. He gets all the... I guess he had Tidal Wave earlier. I thought it was just a coincidence. Looks like people went and stood in a little pool of water, maybe? Or just generally were stacking. Oh god. Alright. Yeah, we all got this burn debuff. Okay, it's gone. Jesus. Stand in the dead center, I guess, it looks like. Yeah. Minimize damage. Music's really kind of chill for the setting. Proto Star Realization. Sweet. What? <laughs> this is pretty rad. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool. Sprint. Let's see. Apparently, speak asshole dragon. Huh. Whoa. What did that? I'm looking to uh, see. Attacking his tail. Very specific amount of damage. Oh, I see, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Is it correct for me to be standing separate from the rest of the party like this? You should be standing next to the other tank. Where is the other tank? Uh, well, if you're main tanking, really, he should be standing next to you, but... Let me see. Oh, oh yeah, god! That, that fucking blast. Okay, Stormblood team. Oh shit, he breaks the thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. 
was trying to get off the one platform for Cool. Yeah, if he smashes the same place more than once, he ends up breaking it. I see. What? Don't move. Don't move. Oh, right, because you'll slip off the stage. That's funny. This is the more... other thing supposed to be stacking with you for. I see. On Dragoon, I could help you eat one or two of those Aquamarines, but definitely not on Red Mage. So it's always on the tanks. Uh, Aquamarine, yeah, it always triggers. It always targets the tank. It targets the main tank, but then it splits damage with whoever's next to me, so... He's not explicitly getting targeted by it. He has to come and stand it, specifically to eat it. Oh, but just you guys stack, not everybody. Yeah, yeah no. Tidal Wave. Great. Everyone else is too frail. That's what I was saying. On Dragoon, I can eat one or two of them, because Dragoon has more armor than the DPS. Mm -hmm. But even then, I couldn't take the whole thing with Dylan. The other tank really should be doing it. Great. I love that he has all the primal abilities. It's cool. It's Bahamas. Okay, that makes so much more sense now, because last time, every time you hit me with that, I was at like 10% health. Two people with the icons got to stack near each other. I see. Okay. I see. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh -huh. That's cool. Try to avoid doing what this and all of Hell Samurai is doing and don't touch the puddles until we know what attack he's going to do. Mm -hmm. It's giving him a lightning debuff every time he's walking in it. I see. Hellfire. Is Hellfire. end up doing a uh, death sentence shit. An extreme version of this trial.
Is death sentence something that can be cleansed or something? I see the giant crack this time. Yeah, there's a bunch now. Aerial blast. Knockback. So you want to keep running back into the middle of this, otherwise you knock off like I did last time. Let's see. Don't move, right? Or not yet. Uh, no, it's a diamond dust. Stack. Stack. Here's Diamond Dust. There's Lock Morn. That was much better. Shit. Sprint. It's cool that the fight basically requires it. What is this? Burning chains? Just need to move apart, I think. Foot away from the other person passing. Okay. Gotcha. I think we've seen that before. Yeah. Stack. Stack up. Get in a puddle. This is 
is that cool masturbatory GM final battle in a D&D campaign. Like, he just has all the abilities. Oh, well, yeah. It's like, oh. Earth Breath. Really... Earth and Fury. You can use that in FF5. Oh no, never mind, that's Titan, isn't it? Warren. Oh, cool. That was pretty sweet. Really cool fight. and watch these cutscenes and I get to watch because I had to pick that up. <laughs> You're welcome to. Dude, why does he get the meteor to the ground in a flurry of petals? Like, dude is an asshole. Well, are you alright? He's fine. So, like, who was the big bad of Heaven's Word? Nidhogg, kind of? Or the, the priest guy? Yeah. The dudes who did Knights of the Round, Thornton. I don't think we spent, spent that whole story, like, getting to know and hate that character, though, so, like we did with this guy. To have stood upon this great stage of fools. To have played my part to perfection. Oh, this, this moment, let it be enshrined in eternity. My heart beating out of time, so clear, so vivid, so real, so real. Farewell, my first friend. My enemy. I mean, this dude just turned into an apocalyptic, world-ending <laughs> world dragon. I feel too like, sorry. <laughs> he's like... 
He's talking like we just like had a fist fight or something. Yeah. Must be dinner time over there in the Marstead household. The kitties are upset. <laughs> He's dead. By his own hand. <sighs> and justice has been done. No. There's no justice in that. But they wanted him to do seppuku. In that rabbit but <laughs> his costume was too absurd. Liberty or death. That so many should be forced to take up this creed to defeat such madness. We won. Forget him. The living have need of us now. Stand tall, Lys. Now is the time to raise a cheer for all who fought for freedom. A cheer loud enough to carry to the highest heavens. He ends basically cyan. Yeah. He's like science great 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 granddad. <laughs> this is all connected. Right. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Without you well, you know. So let's do it together. For Alamigo! Do we remember the backstory of Pippin? Like Robin's ward or something? It's like his son. I don't know, like for real son or for real son. I associate this theme now with uh, the AFK timeout. <laughs> lag in the cutscene, it's weird. Oh yes. Hey, these people, they're still don't you remember them, right? I guess some of them showed up in some of the walks quest towards the end. cinematography in there that was cool in crimson it began yeah and in crimson it ended and then and then we were free
Oh, that was a good MMO ending, I think. <laughs> but what is freedom, really? Not slavery? Oh, the Stormblood theme, Zumatsu. Okay. Oh, is that right? I missed that. Mm -hmm. Unless if by main theme they mean like the Final Fantasy theme that was playing in there. But... Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. bring it yeah. back to do like a token song these days, right? That'd be good, yeah. See, did you do one in 15? We may uh, I'm not sure. To love, to grow old, to have dreams and desires, and to strive for them. But in the end, we're defined by the legacy our forefathers bequeathed to us. Even Xenos was once a baby in the cradle, innocent and pure. He was made into a creature that lived only for death, not born of Twenty years of Imperial rule have left Alamigo torn and bleeding. I think bitches I might about Realm Reborn and um, Heaven's Word and the main story quest line. Like, this was like, hey, we're going to take back Alamigo. Here's our main antagonist. And we did those things. That was kind of nice. I'm used to Final Fantasy being this fucking crazy traips. You're doing all this shit that makes no sense. It comes out of nowhere. Constant OBT dubs moments, so. Kind of enjoyed the fairly straightforward. I think that's why I like FF6 so much, right? That one. The only thing that kind of feels like an ass pole is the three statues, but if you accept that Kepka's a dick, he gets god powers. Go fight him. Because Yeah, no, this was definitely more straightforward than Heaven's Word. Mm -hmm. I think it was pretty, pretty tight. I liked it. I remember the smoke and the ashes and the blood. I remember the screams and the silence. And I'll do whatever it takes to honor their sacrifice, to build a home for us all. I promise you. It's interesting because the, the Shinryu fight almost feels out of place. Like, it's like we just, they could have ended it right after the Alamigo cutscene and all of this would make perfect sense. Yeah. I really liked it though, like, don't cut that fight from the game, but it's cool to, like, yeah, we don't really need to, like, fit that into it. That's not what this story's about. Yeah. You gotta fight a giant dragon monster because it's Final Fantasy. <laughs> the end of the Imperial Province right. of Alamigo, and a rebirth of Alamigo, the free nation. Long may she endure. I think we're safe to skip the black screen credits, but let me check. Yes. Uh, well, I did, and you don't miss the, the cutscene after it. Okay, thanks. Well, well, well. What a fine mess we've made. Hey, it's Matt's buddy. It's the guy. All but spent feeding that primal, eh? Well, you won't be making any mischief with that amount of ether. Still, better safe than sorry.
Okay, I'm glad they tied up that loose end. Yeah. I was about to groan, like, really? <laughs> there. There ends your hateful legacy. Fuck. Okay, we gotta have another more luxurious Garlean. Right. <laughs> keep escalating. It's just got broader shoulders. shoulders. <laughs> they keep getting bigger. We may have seen this guy in Heaven's Road. I feel like there was a really... Okay, so he was the prince. Yeah. I somehow missed that. There's the Asians. Yeah, I don't really know the difference between white and black robed Asians. I think there's just one white one. Is that right? One true god, that's right. Zodiac. Drop that. Yo. 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 I was Zodiac's saying to Pat, like when, uh, when uh, Xenos falls, you can see Nidhogg's eyes next to him. I didn't notice the first time. Oh, that's cool. But I definitely noticed uh, this time. I'm glad they, they wrapped that up. <laughs> That kind of ruined your core mechanic, though, right? Isn't that don't you use the two eyes? No. Well, what you're doing when you're doing your jumps is you're getting the gaze of like the elders, dragons. You're getting their attention every time you like do your thing. You I get see. an eye looking at you. So when you get your four eyes, you have like you know their power. They're like, oh shit, this guy can jump. That means we should let him do a slightly stronger version of a kind of shitty attack that he already has. I'm gonna restart my computer. Cool, see you in a bit. Whatever's under the mask spooked that badass Garlean guy. My guess is uh, he took his son's face somehow. Oh, that'd be cool. Must be somebody knows for sure. It's really impressive that it took so long for MMOs to land on this idea of like, let's pretend like every player character is the only player character. <laughs> The alternative yeah. doesn't work. At least I haven't seen any MMOs where it made sense. Did you play EverQuest? You know how they handled that way back in the day? I'm pretty sure quests weren't that big of a thing, despite its name. So like, or like ongoing story, it was more about going around and fighting enemies and leveling up. So I don't think there was like a, a story arc, so to speak. Like there's probably stuff you could do, but nothing like, yeah. you know, rescue the slaves from the mines, but only rescue 10 of them. been through a lot together, haven't we? I can't thank you enough. There's something I need to say to you all. That is, if you have a moment.
She's basically a different character. Yeah. Good. You're all here. Good. Good. Thank Good. you doesn't really suffice, does it? I'm grateful. Truly grateful from the bottom of my heart. But I know you didn't fight so hard just to hear me or anyone else say that. You fought because you wanted to help, because you believed it was right. Because you're scions. Now I'm obviously a scion, but as Conrad left me in charge of things here, I think Strumblood did right was that there's this huge cast of these scion characters, and I feel like Realm Reborn was trying to have all of them in every cutscene, but this one was like, no, this one's just Thancred and I realized no, Alice or something. So it seemed yeah, it narrated it a lot. It, official. it made it feel weird when you see all of them together and you're like, well, I haven't seen them in the same room. As long as I serve Alamigo, I can't be a scion. It might be selfish and short-sighted, but that's my decision. Am I to understand that you summoned us all, some of us still nursing wounds, to hear this? Oh, I... I... I didn't... Um... Oh, just man. <laughs> Forgive me, Lise. Twas but a jest. But this I say with the utmost sincerity. Scion or no, we are comrades. Now and ever after. Is that not so? Say is way cooler than Alpha now. There you have it. Come what may, yeah. you may count on us in your hour of need. We shall never refuse you. Stola. Oh God, I swore I wouldn't cry. Man, they really upped their emotes game, like facial expressions in Stormblood. I wonder if they're gonna release those. Talking about Lise there. Yeah, that was that was kind of impressive. I was just thinking they haven't done that before. That was pretty cool. Those in the fucking psycho eyes. <laughs> yeah. I was like, it's one of those things that's interesting because it's not really that impressive in the context of every other modern game, but when you know the engine's not built for that. Yeah. Come back here, you slippery little devil. Uh, A fucking course. God damn it. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. He's a cool character. I'm glad he gets yeah. to play out his days fishing, but the true Final Fantasy endgame. What greater proof but come on, guys. Kill a character. Than an empty belly. Oh, I'm dead. A fate worse than death. Who have arrived at the appointed place and time only to survive by mere force of habit. Truly, the Kami are not used. They're cute with the triple question mark, too. Like, oh, uh -huh. who it could be. How you test me with this wretched soul. Okay. I mean, that's cool. Whoa, it's a yawn. I'm glad we got to see that. They, it was yeah. smart of them to put an ether current there. I wouldn't have seen it otherwise.
uh, Jesse. <laughs> I hadn't noticed her before. Wow, I totally missed oh, her. Oh, yeah. That's cool. No, She's me too. A... She's a pretty core part of the Red Mage quest line. If you're oh, that's that. cool. They got your Biggs Wedge, Jesse, or Piet, if they're going to do Chrono Trigger. Who else was in Avalanche? Show you where the Verity Vendor is, Pat. So you just scream by. Oh, okay, oh, hang on. I'm doing a doing this big quest. I'll show you when you're done. Also, I learned the most important thing ever that you can beckon to your pets to make them land on your head. Yeah. In your case, is a Lala fella. I mean, that's the canonical case. You should you should get a. It's called a. Lesser panda, I think. It's a, basically a red panda. It'll climb on your head. It's fairly cheap. That's, uh, it's one of the 50-something dungeons, and I think I just out-leveled it on my Dark Knight. I was to hit 59 the other night, so I gotta start spamming Great Google Library to get to 60. So if any of you guys got a level 50-something character, spam some dungeons. <laughs> Nero joining the Ironworks. It's very Dragon Ball Z, Vegeta. Yeah. That was Stormblood, and we'll probably record the um, expert dungeons and maybe some of the extreme trials. Definitely the the raid because the raid sounds pretty cool. Late show.